Okay, uh, he's sitting right next to the uh, the other the support for it. You, you guys know. 10 million for this guy. Um, you guys remember how good this free-to-play was, slash, is, right? No? Oh, okay, if you guys, you know, remember. Uh, DB Saga Loki making a comeback. 11 million. Okay. Um, let's see something. Uh, LR... No, I'm trying to end for it. 40... 40... 42... Mi <laughs> Shout out to Dokkan Row, by the way. I like to use his videos um, as like a reference. Not to say that all the other older references were bad, which they were not, because I used a bunch of older references from my older Uner reviews. Like, for example, uh, Living Ichigo. Shout out to Living Ichigo. If you know who he is, let me know down below. That is, when it comes to learning about older, older like metas and like, you know, uh, units, older metas, units, content. He's the go-to guy. Him, Living Ichigo, Rhyme Style. D I think I used some of D Freeze videos too. I think I used a little bit of Truth also. I sprinkled a little bit of Truth. Yeah, D Free, Rhyme Style, Living Ichigo. Um, am I missing anybody? I hope I'm not missing anybody. I'm missing one more. Who is one? I kn I know I'm missing one more. There's another one. There's another older Dokkan creator. But okay. Anyway, shout out to all the OG Dokkan YouTubers. But yeah. Excuse me. With that being said, we're going to talk about LR Yamcha and Puar. We're skipping completely over their, um, their pre-EZA because there's almost nothing to talk about. Their pre-EZA was just straight ass. I mean, they're lowering defense on both their 12 and 18 key super attack effects. I mean, three key and 100% of the stats to join forces. Were they the first join forces leader? I do not remember. This is why I say I don't know everything about Dokkan because I, I don't. Keep it a bug with you guys. I'm still learning new things about Dokkan each and every day, and I never claim to know everything about Dokkan. I think they were the first joint forces leader. Someone down below will correct me, but I, I don't remember. If you know, please let me know down below because I'm not, we're not dwelling into their free EZA. We're focusing solely on their post EZA. Uh, I believe I did a unit review on them already. So I guess you can call this like a re-unit review. Um, do I count this as a unit review? I, I don't, do I? I don't remember if I did a unit review on this card or not. <laughs> um, they're gaining 20,000 attack and defense on super and they get an additional 10,000 attack and defense performing 18 key super so they don't have a starter turn attack and defensive buff they just get their attack and de defensive buff on super um super attack effects are straight garbage leader skill is straight garbage uh they also stun themselves when going against a peppy gauss character so i guess it's just hinting at balma so i mean just a little funny cute thing about the card i guess um links are just for the time terrible i mean speedy retribution link level one at the time 10 percent attack solid support 10 percent attack and a defensive debuff we're already de defensive debuffing on their both their super attack effects why do we need it for their their uh link set in fighter straight ass probably still straight ass now unless your name is um, i mean pretty sure jiren has this link right mr lr goat jiren i mean it just helps him for his offense because jiren is just a fucking wall um so i mean Link's not the craziest. Like, Incredible Adventure definitely got the glow up for sure. Three key and 7% attack and defense. But guess what, uh, guys? There was no Link leveling back in... What was that? That's December? No, th this card is not for 2017. Excuse me. I was thinking of... Was it Tien and Chao My bad. I... Excuse me. Yeah, this card's from December of 2018. Um, Even for December 2018, like, this... It's a World Tournament at least. Of course, a pretty easy ass ass, okay? That's the whole thing about it. See, I... I'm telling you guys, I don't know everything about Dokkan. I just give my, you know. <laughs> Still a student of the game, for sure. Even though I call myself the Dokkan detective. Um, you know, I could be like the Dokkan cop. No? I could be like the Dokkan judge. Nah, nah, that's corny. I like the Dokkan detective. I forgot how I came up with that name. I, I don't remember. Wow. I think my guess for that is... Did I think that, like, the Dokkan professor? I thought that was corny. I think I thought that was corny. I just probably thought of the i don't remember i don't remember uh, but anyways we're gonna talk about their post eza so uh, i'm gonna go over the card like completely again because i don't exactly remember what this card does it's like i used them for a bit once they got their eza and i pretty much just dropped them like a bad habit so the leader skill is three key and one fifty percent across the board to join forces could be usable somewhere in battle road but outside of that like battle road or maybe dokkan battlefield for like a little funny scheme but outside of that no i mean you could get like a little 
you can get like a little funny like battlefield team going because join forces is so top heavy so 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 top heavy you have evo ken you have golden freezer 17 um you have uh krillin 18 inside the right condition of course you have uh for battlefield of course we're talking battlefield and i, I guess across the entire game um you have deborah and bobby and deborah in the right scenario you have the the blue frauds i love them but they're still the blue frauds uh <laughs> um you got go bros who can damage blitz through battlefield even though you know you gotta kill the boss before they kill you um you have uh the lr gammas you have the lr ssj trio you have ginyu you have uh um you have both the eighth years um <laughs> there is a bunch of great units on this team i'm just not naming them all so um i guess you could use this like some sort of just off uh meta content scenario but that's about it so super attack of xd12 key that being the wolf fang fist extreme 30 percent attack and defense one turn while doing colossal damage and lowering defense so uh, attack defense buff on super for the 12 key is nice and the same goes for the 18 key where they get attack defense buff for one turn as well as doing mega colossal and massively lowering defense so the only real difference is that they're getting an attack and defensive buff on both their super attack effects good nice standard so they start out with just five key just out the gate okay and they get 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack. That's probably why they hit like 40 plus million. Um, like, like what? Like this is bananas. Can we can we see that again? <laughs> Brother. Okay, so 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack, and they get additional 100% attack when performing an 18 key super. So they additionally just get a 250% just attack and defensive buff when performing an 18 key super just easily um and they also launch an additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack when you have a joined forces category ally attacking in the same turn and they launch another additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack just unrestricted separated from their restricted uh joined forces uh, additional super attack chance sorry my dog is snoring in the background so that kind of threw me off uh plus an additional 150 percent defense and uh, this character gets stunned when they are going up against a peppy gals character so you don't want to bring him up against the pink zone no 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 shh, shh, shh. and if you guys don't know what the pink zone is let me go ahead and show you let's go over to dokkan info we're gonna take a little field trip just for a second guys so just strap in just just wait just wait just, uh go to the challenge Let's go to challenge again. Let's go to active. Let's scroll on down. Where is the pink zone? Pink zone is right over here. We have the pink zone. Uh, Yamsha, you are ass in this mode. No? Yes? No? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Uh, you go up against, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, Chi Chi? Um, yeah, Chi Chi, AGL. Can Chi Chi kill Yamsha? Can, can Chi Chi actually cook LR Yamsha? <laughs> you, are? you are not bringing him. The pink zone! It's so, so cute and flashy and I, I, it's so, it's just a cutesy little thing that Dokkan decided to do because Dokkan has Master Roshi. So, I mean, I guess Peppy Gal stuff. Uh, but anyways, 150% uh, defense and stuns himself with golf. He gets a Peppy Gal's category enemy, so he's just a sitting duck. And he gets three key, 150% attack, and a 50% chance to dodge when there are no Peppy Gal's category enemies. So, he gets a 50% chance to dodge key and attack buff. Why not, uh... Why not swap? Better yet, uh, I I get the design. It's because it's from his pre-easy, right? Where he stuns himself, he gets the defense. Why? I I don't I don't know. I don't know. This character is just pretty much gonna be dodge dodge or die. Yeah, what's his defensive stat? Uh, my bad. I'm too used to looking at a T easy AT wars. That's why I scrolled down here. Um, just hmm, dodge or die. Yikes. Um, he already has additional super attack chances. I mean, you just run a joint forces character and you're sitting pretty. This character does have a bunch of characters on joint forces you can probably put next to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah, that's really it for Yamcha and Port. I mean, essentially dodge or die. You bring him into the pink zone, he's cooked, right? Is he? Is he? What is, what's launch's typing? I forgot. I did this. Oh, this is launch. Why does it say versus launch? This isn't launch. This is Rand fan. This is Rand fan. Okay, Pan? Pan is... What is Pan? Oof. Yamcha. <laughs> Yamcha. One second. Yamcha. That's not a good look, brother. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. No pink zone for you. Um, Thumbnail probably going to be uh, uh, countered by pink zone. 
Okay. He's pretty much just uh, a character. I just noticed something. He doesn't start out with an attack and defensive buff still. <laughs> so, they didn't get that right from his pre-easy. I was just like, okay, they got the dodge here. But he just has key, 250% attack and defense, provided you get his 18 key super off. And a bunch of additional super attack chances, as well as defense when he stuns himself. So, he only gets an attack or defensive buff. So, he gets a defensive buff when you're and stuns himself by the way he gets a defensive buff and stuns himself when facing a peppy gauss category enemy and he gets key and attack excuse me when facing no peppy gauss characters why does he not start with attack and defensive buff it's like okay let's just start him out with key i like that how hard is it for them to just throw five key and 150 percent attack and defense on him but not better yet because you're not going to be running this guy like that five key and 200 percent attack and defense on him better yet bump it up a little more to an unrealistic height five key and 300 percent attack and defense because you're not running this guy i'm sorry buddy dragon ball seekers I... are you getting away with him on dragon ball seekers um you probably could maybe uh join forces no DB Saga, no Dragon Ball Seekers, hell no, nah, you're not getting away with them with Dragon Ball Seekers, no, Join Forces, no, too top heavy, there's a bunch of top heavy characters on there, I'd probably skipped over, DB Saga, you go argue with me, yes, Worthy Rivals, no, Earthlings, no, Bond of Friendship, no, uh, and Earthbed Fighters, hell no, <laughs> so, um, let me just pull up Mr. Yamcha and Puar, yo, does, uh, Puar, and, uh, what's his name, who is oolong does poor and oolong like deserve like separate little banner cards that just have a crazy amount of dodge and support like uh tech dodge roby okay i mean shit i don't see why not I, I don't see why not at all all right anyways uh his 200 percent use goes he's on is yamsha's and path coups and that is it he's not on roshi's 200 what Huh? what no he's he's not Okay, so he's a Peppy Gauss 3 key 200% stats leader. I mean, of course. Um, Turtle School DB Saga. Okay, so he's not on. He's not on Turtle School because this is like Yamcha for like what? Like episode 3 or something like that? He's like from the earlier episodes. Um, he's on Turtle School. And. Uh, I mean, he's on DB Saga, but he's not on Bonamass Cyber Economy. Ah. I mean, uh. Okay, so that is about it. 42 million is nice, though. I mean, showcase character. <laughs> showcase character. Cool. Cool. Uh, I think the problem with this card is uh, no attack and defensive buff. This really. And bump up this dodge chance to a 70% chance to dodge. Why does that have to be a 50? 50? I mean, we'll take it, but it, 70, bro. 70. Like Lil Pump says. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Shout out to the person that requested this. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Peace.